How easy it would be to fall for you But that of course is something I won't do Cause we've agreed between you and me We're nothing more than friends How silly it would be to put this This is a day in my life as a marketing analyst and it is from the time that I leave my apartment and start my commute to the time that I close my door and leave my office. This is gonna be a little bit different from what I think you might be used to seeing when it comes to day in the life. I'm not gonna vlog it. It's gonna be a sit down just so I have a chance to sort of go over everything in its entirety and you have a good clear picture of what I do at my job. Or at least that's my intention, we'll see how it goes. Without further ado, enjoy the video. Thanks for stopping by. Sit back, relax, do whatever you gotta do, and enjoy the video. So my commute lasts from 7.10, weirdly specific, to arriving at the office at eight o'clock. While it's not a 50 minute drive, it does take me a little bit to get to my car. Everything is super safe in my apartment complex. You have to key fob up and down the elevator, and my parking garage is two floors, so it's a bit of a winding journey to get out onto the street. I almost always grab an energy drink from the convenience store that's a couple blocks from my apartment before I start my commute. It really helps me on my commute and it really wakes me up. I'm a person that loves commuting. It gives me enough time, especially this commute, it's a half an hour commute, to really wake up and get ready for the day, whether I want to wake up by listening to sports shows or an audiobook or just listening to music. It gives me enough time for my brain to wake up and for me to get ready to start the day and it, I think, helps me be more productive as I get into the office and can start working immediately. So from 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock, I am doing emails catching up on some light work and I'm in meetings. Because while we do have a lot of people in the office, in the building that I work in, we do have some people spread out throughout the country so they're in different time zones, which means I'm usually getting emails at four o'clock in the morning sometimes because they're on the East Coast. And with that means I have also a lot of meetings as soon as I get into the office, which is totally fine. It, again, helps me wake up and get ready to be incredibly productive for the day. And light work really consists of anything that I was doing yesterday that I was so close to finishing, which actually happens a lot. So it's anywhere from finalizing numbers for a report or putting together a data visualization to present to my manager that I'm directly reporting to. From 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock is lunch for most people in the office. And there's no real strict like code or rules to follow when it comes to lunch. You leave, if you wanna go get lunch, you could take half an hour, you could take an hour, or you could bring lunch into the office, warm it up in the microwave and eat at your desk. I don't do either. It is my way of almost reaching the minimum amount of time that would be considered fast. So, and again, I do snack every once in a while with popcorn because if I don't and I end up leaving, there are so many stores and shops with food like donuts or pizza that just, and a McDonald's, that if I don't eat a little snack and satisfy my stomach a little bit, I'm gonna be in trouble. I usually reset at this point as well, which means I might do some mindless scrolling on my phone for a little bit, or get up and just walk around to stretch the legs. And I absolutely love the view that I have out of my office. I tend to look out at it a lot. If I need just a five second break, I just got out of a meeting, or I've been into heavy deep work and just need to look at something else other than Excel spreadsheets. I also have only been here almost a month, and I've gotten comments every time people have come into my office because I like to have my room my office at 85 degrees and I wear a jacket. I don't know what it is because I still am cold. There might be something wrong with me, but I'm okay. I love it. At this point from 12 o'clock to 1.30 is usually the time that I spend checking in with certain people in the office. I might have a plethora of questions that have built up over the week or from the prior week that I want to knock off so then I can continue to do my work. A lot of it is just confirming what I already knew from sources that know better than me. I validate data by cross-referencing what I have with our internal documents as well, which again is a lot of checking in with accounting or different managers on what they have. I've also noticed that during this time, a lot of people are happy. 
because they've been fed. And this is sort of a psychological trick that I, that I use because it really does work, at least in my experience, to go to people's office with requests, inquiries, and questions that might seem really annoying at certain times, especially if you're working, but one, they're usually not, and two, they are full and happy. And another trick that I've used that I actually learned while I was getting my MBA as to not waste people's time with popping in and out of offices asking questions throughout the day, I compile questions regardless of if I know them or not to convey an ignorant curiosity that one, speaks to my commitment to my job and secondly, just helps me build a rapport with the people that I'm working with. I am really far removed from the next youngest person in the office and I've always dealt with that. So I try my hardest to, to fit in while also standing out. I think it's incredibly important to not let your age define how you act and who you are, but also to remain a professional. The easiest thing to point out is your lack of unprofessionalism because of your age. I also might need to get some supplies in our warehouse, which means taking a little trek, or I don't always really wanna walk either, so I might call people on the phone using their extensions, which is new to me, I've never used a phone like this to do things like that, which is a normal thing for most people to do, but not me, and I kind of enjoy it. So from 1.30 to 3 o'clock is what I call my deep analysis and research portion of the day. It's where I start to dive into my heavy work and focus on things that are incredibly important, whether it's a really big project that I'm working on or parts and pieces that everybody's putting and pulling together for a presentation to provide uh, and present to upper management, whatever. It can be a variety of different things. That's to say that this is the most productive time of the day for me. I usually close my door so I can completely focus. Not that I have too many interruptions, but people do walk by my door and you can also hear people walking and talking through the hallway. And to specifically tell you what my job is. 80% of my job focuses on research and gathering meaningful insights to drive revenue growth and help build out the long and short-term strategic direction for the business. That's a high level overview of what I do and I can get really in depth of what that means and how I go about doing that and executing all of those things. But for now, that's sort of what I do. And just know that means I work heavily with data and numbers. My screen's filled with Excel and Power BI. From three o'clock to 3.30 is me visualizing this data that I've put together and start building reports, which is only half an hour, which might not seem like enough time to do it, but trust me, I can get it done. When I've summarized my findings, I go into PowerPoint and put together a presentation or report based on what I've done. Again, a lot of it is putting together dashboards, saving the dashboards, putting them onto PowerPoint, and then putting together a presentation for whoever might need it, or if it's several slides to go into another presentation, what have you. And a lot of the times, I'm usually putting together reports and building up my repository of findings, insights of the market, of trends, of industry reports, subsegments, anything. Anything I can find, I start putting together into my repository of documents so that I can stay on top of any ask that might come up and it's just good, it's good etiquette and practice to do something like that in my role. From 3.30 to four o'clock is a lot of really, really small things put into a very, very small amount of time or small window of time. I'm prepping meetings for tomorrow because I find it the best time to be done is at the end of the day where I know sort of how my week's going to go or what the next day is going to look like based off of what I was able to get done today. Answering emails is a huge crux of mine. I find it very difficult to stay on top of emails, especially on a day that I have a lot of work to do. I just don't have time to check the emails and I tend to usually mute the notifications or the notification sound so I can, again, focus on my work, which, you know, it's a double-edged sword, but it's something I'm working on. And the last thing I do for most days is I check in with my manager that I directly report to and just, you know, five minutes, even a minute, just drop in and provide an update uh, or any insights or just a plan of action of what I'm doing just so they stay knowledgeable and aware of what I'm doing. While my commute is good for me I and my schedule is flexible, I usually am the last person to arrive in the office at eight o'clock, which means I'm the last person to leave the office. Everybody's usually gone. I'm the last to turn lights off. And that is a day in my life as a marketing analyst from the time that I leave my apartment to the time that I get off. Thank you so much for watching, for stopping by. And if you've made it this far in the video, I thank you for sticking around. Don't forget to subscribe if you like what you've seen so far. And if there's any suggestions, tips, or improvements to the video, feel free to leave a comment down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Again.